problem. We know your problems. Unlike other campaign people, our opponents that are full of empty promises. We give you our words today. Good electricity, good housing, good pipe and water, and good health facilities. That is why we have good people interest uppermost at heart. That is why we've gone far and discovered that there are some problems here that is currently living with you people, and we promise to solve them once and for all. Okay. Only one thing, your vote. Just your vote and support for us, you are there. Yes. We know that this community is full of natural resources. But yes. we are said to uplift the good of the community. We are said to make the people comfortable. Yes. We know your problems. We know your problems. And as a great soul of the soil, I cannot give you empty promises. Okay. Okay. See, when I give you my words, take my word. Yes. So we are said to take people. to know that the big masquerade has arrived. You must deliver your speech like a lion. We must dominate. Sure. Don't worry, Chief. I will not let you down. I trust you. I trust you. Now, come and kneel down. Let me bless you before we go. Yes, today... The Godfather anoints you as the new governor of our state. And no power on earth can change that. You shall be known and addressed as Your Excellency the Governor. Please <laughs> rise and sit down. From today, you are now the governor of our state. Thank you, Chief. Excuse me, Chief. Guess me, Chief. Doctor Febu was killed. What? Yes, Chief. Cancelled. Chief, what's the matter? There was a shootout. Your campaign manager has been killed. Jesus Christ. Oduma, Oduma, I know you are behind this. Oduma, you have spilled the first blood. Now it is blood for blood. Yes, blood for blood. Man. Yes, Chief. Assemble your men for war. Yes, Chief. Blood for blood. It is war time. War. Assemble your men. Excuse me. to be at alert. This sudden silence I have observed depicts danger. Chief Davis will definitely be waiting at the corner to stab us at the back. He cannot create a storm in a teacup, sir. <laughs> storm in a teacup? Well, hello? What? When? Dark. 
come down, come down. In front of his house. Alright. I'll take care of it. has just been shot in front of his house. Davis. Davis. We must hit back at him immediately. Okay, sir. life just because I want to put somebody on a seat. You're all that I live for, and I'll do everything to see that you're protected. Daddy, you can't achieve that by making me a prisoner. Are you saying that I can't even go out and visit my friends? Friends kill faster than bullets. <sighs> sit down. I need you to stay alive for me. There are a lot of trigger happy hoodlums out there waiting to pump bullets into you. Why would they want to kill me? Simple. Because you're my daughter. You don't know how jealous other politicians are of your father. Look at what they did to my brother, your uncle. They will go to any extent to distract me from the forthcoming elections. Daddy, I am still not happy with the situation. My uncle, happiness does not count now. You must stay alive to be happy. Look, everything you want is here. More could be provided if you want. I have also made arrangements for your mother and your brother to stay back in the United States until after the elections. Daddy, you don't understand. I want to be free. I want to go where I want to go to, see who I want to see and be where I want to be. Not to your own detriment. Look, girl, you must grow up. Grow up and be as wise as your father. Get me a glass. some money boy. <laughs> How much are you talking about now? Just 50k dad. Charles, 50k is just. <laughs> it's alright son. Uh, wait for me. Oh, let me finish with our governor today. Then we can talk about your 50k. Yeah. Uh, I take 50k to mean 50,000. Huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Barrister Okoro. I appreciate the way you feel about the situation. It's just that I, I didn't expect the whole thing to turn out this way. The killings are getting so much. I, I just hope that you can do something to save the Let's situation. Listen, politics is not a kindergarten game. The seat you are running for is a very hot seat. And any man wanting to be there must be ready. Chief, I am ready. Then why are you complaining? Huh? Why are you complaining? I dropped so many men because I want you to be there. These men are men of honor. Yes, men of honor. And to hear you talk like this is a big, it's a big, big letdown. Chief, I'm sorry. Forgive me for the misuse of words. You'll better be sorry. 
You better be sorry and remember you are on oath. And I want to remind you that the state and everything in it belongs to me. I've been the godfather of the state for as long as they can remember. You understand? And I cannot afford to lose it to the opposition. When we go to the inner caucus meeting, you're going to get up and denounce all the statements you have made. Because if they're taken seriously, you will be committing political suicide. If you do that to yourself, I don't mind, but don't take me along to your grave. It's okay, Chief. This is the picture of a young man. He's a final year law student. Disposing. Put your best boys on the job. Consider it done, sir. I know you must have forgotten me. I'm Prince. 400 levels of cones. I know. Um, I just thought I should show you something, you know. Instructions, Chief. Are you saying that my son is deaf? No, sir. But he wouldn't just abide by the rules. Give me your gun. You were given this gun to protect the life of my son. This is not helping you. What are you doing this for? What? You're going to get yourself killed. Why are you allowing Chifudima to be using you the way he does? 
Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Tony, you're scared. I am uncomfortable with this kind of relationship. Why are you always environmental conscious? Always believing that someone is about to kill you. I don't know, nobody is killing anybody, okay? Save the salmon. Tony, I know you. And I know what you do. I know that I am not safe with you. And if you don't change and look for something better to do for a resource of leaving, Tony, I'm going to quit this relationship. Fine. If you want to quit, the door is open. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and listen to you tell me how to live my life. I'm concerned. I'm only being caring. And if you can listen to me, I know I can talk to my friend about giving you a job. There you go again, please. Look, Alero, I am not the kind of man who dates a girl for what he can get from her, okay? I can very well take care of myself, and you better get that into your head. Please drink up, let's go. Yesterday, and I want to apologize for that. It's okay. I'm sorry I was harsh on you. I've actually been thinking about what you said. You know, lately I find myself being very scared and afraid. And fear is not an emotion that I'm used to. I think I need a new life, you know, I need to change. I don't believe that. If you believe that there is nothing as constant as change, with love in your heart, we shall both excel. With God first. I'm surprised you said that. Do you remember him at all? Of course. Oh. Sometimes. <laughs> surprised at the way you handled things and your level of magnanimity. Honestly, I can already see myself in the government house. <laughs> as long as you are behind me, I, I don't have any problem. Listen, in this state, I compose the political notes. I say who stays and he stays. One press of the button I get the real ruling. That's true, Chief. But now that we have succeeded in getting uh, Davis to the cooling field, what about his candidates? <laughs> now listen, you know my political philosophy? If you have a case and it's giving you so much headache, bother yourself no more. Kill all the witnesses. Oh. 
Now listen, we need more bodyguards, we need more talks, we need to re-equip the armory. Uh, sir, already you know we have uh, a working agreement. Don't worry, uh, as soon as I'm elected into office, definitely all your expenses will be taken care of. I understand everything. I hope you listen to yourself. Because I'm a businessman and a very strict one. This is strictly business. All my monies must be paid to the last dime. Come. Let me show you my crocodiles. You will love them. Beautiful babies. Babies. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that reminds me. Yes, people follow me to the school so we can recruit more boys. If you need my hands, I can mobilize some boys from my school. Yeah, Mr. Fida reminds me. Ali is the captain of uh, Rat. He can help us recruit some people. Okay, Ali, you put some good boys together so I can screen them. Shut you. My boys are with me. I wish we can always stand like this. Me too. Well, you know your man needs to walk. No, that's why I had to talk to my father. Promise me you'll go see him. I will. I'll definitely see him. Let's hope it's the beginning of a new page in my life. You know, life is... Like the pages of a book, every day we we'll read and we we'll learn and we we'll read and we we'll learn and then we we'll make mistakes. We we'll try to correct them and then we we'll read some more and learn some more and then it goes on and on like that. I know you're still a young man. <laughs> so you're late. This young man has seen enough to last a lifetime. I've swam in muddy waters, dangerous waters with sharks and crocodiles. Everybody trying to survive, trying to get a meal, you know. It's funny. But that's the state of the nation. Everybody's mind is channeled towards one thing. Get rich or die trying. It's unfortunate, you know, we're like different species of animals living in the desert everybody drinking from one small pond the weak the strong the small the mighty everybody drinking from the same pool how are we supposed to survive that's why you have to change your mindset focus your energy on the good days ahead and build a career for yourself yeah start by focusing my energy oh, on oh. you. You're the number one man. How can you abandon your ship? It's family pressure, sir. My mother is very ill. Maybe she needs money. How much does she want? Sir. She needs my attention. I'm her only son. How long are you going to be away? For five days, depending on her condition. Well, I can 
could not hold you down. You've been a very good boy. But wherever you go, know that I need you here. Go to the accountant. I'll, I'll call him. Collect 500,000 naira from him. Take care of your mother with it. I expect you back in a week. Okay, sir. You're in charge now. Okay, sir. Popsino will kill me with work for this company. Now don't tell me you're bringing me these facts here. It's your job. And you're getting paid for it. Uh, you, you're not getting paid. But you have the bot's daughter. So? Hey, come on here, what? So look at all these fights. I have to handle them. I have to go to Abuja tomorrow, you see? That's a reservation. I have to be back here for 12. I hold a meeting with the Russia. What's his name? Daniel Koskowitz. So who's doing more job here? Well, you don't have to complain. You're bargaining for this. <laughs> yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Who's that? The boss. I think he wants to know when you're wedding his daughter. That's what you know. Please go blame me around. On my way. Sit yourself. Food. I'm hungry for you. Uh oh. There he goes again. You never get tired. How can I get tired of you? Uh -uh. Mm. Okay. I'll soon be with you, okay? Oh, I can't wait. You just go wait for me. <laughs> okay? Okay. Now, yes, I'm fine. <laughs> How's everybody? Okay, okay. When? Ah, that would be nice. I can't wait to see you. Yes. No, no, I'll definitely send you some money tomorrow. Definitely. Okay. Ah, Mama, don't worry. Don't worry. All right, till the weekend then. Okay then. All right, bye bye. <laughs> Guess what? My mom is coming in on Friday. Mm -hmm. And so? What's that supposed to mean? And what's she coming to do? I'm disappointed. What's wrong with you? If this is my mom we're talking about. Don't you understand? Her presence in this house is going to be disturbing us. We don't even have enough time for each other. Honey, don't you understand? No, no, don't, don't honey me. Don't honey me. Why are you so self-centered? All you think about is you, 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 you. Look, no, 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 let me tell you. This is Africa, okay? <laughs> this is Africa. The African culture respects the extended family. There he goes again. Every time all I hear is African dreams, African that. You're so timid. That's one thing I dislike in you. Oh, so well. That's cool. If you dislike my mother visiting me, you might as well dislike me, okay? Okay. 
just been speaking with mommy and she says she misses you badly. Did you tell her daddy misses her badly too? Well, I told her that daddy has been so busy with politics that he hardly remembers anything. Not even his own birthday. Is today my birthday? <laughs> Ask me again. Guys, did you hear that today's my birthday and I didn't even remember? Celebrate when I get back, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right there. Yes, sir. Stand there, it's gone. I'm no longer finding the phone. Go look for Tony. Tell him I want to see him immediately. Yes, sir. Take one of the boys with you. I can handle it alone. That's no problem. All right. Mr. T, Mr. T, you have to come back, man. I mean, you can't just walk away on a white side without being beaten by snakes. Besides, Chief has been nice to all of us, you know. So that we can be bad to other people. I mean, that's the bad to the bad people now. Well, it is not for us to judge who is bad and how they should be paid. Come on, Mr. T. No, no, you listen to me, Sweat. These power-hungry men just sit on fat bank accounts and decide whose life is going to be disconnected. For Christ's sake, they're not God. Mr. T, for Christ's sake, I mean, I can't even believe that we are sitting down here counting how many fangs the cobra has. You know, this is my life, okay? This is my destiny. I decide what I want to do with it. Come on, Mr. T. Are you your brother's keeper? was before when men were boys. Jesus. Mr. T. I have to run along. It's alright. Listen to me. Don't you ever address my friends like that again. Okay? They are all irresponsible. Yeah, my son showed me in the picture. Yes, I am. When did you arrive? I came this morning with the first bus. I see. Tony should have arranged a flight for you. What? Please sit down. That's not necessary. I'm on my way. Let me offer you something. I should be the one to offer you something in this house. Does Tony, my son, know that you are coming? Hell yes! Do I need a microphone to announce my coming to this house? You are looking nervous. Yes, ma. Just that Tony didn't tell me you were coming. All the same, I have to run.
Sleep off on the table. I was just tired. I can imagine. Have your shower first. Ah, Mama, shower can wait if I don't eat now. It's warm to my stomach, could just chew up my intestines. Let me feed them. Ah, this is vintage Mama. <laughs> Alera was here. Oh, she was. Did she leave a message? No, I even asked her to come in. But she stood by the door till she left. Okay. I'll call her later. Tony. Yeah, hey, Mama. Are you planning to marry that girl? <laughs> Mama, honestly, I don't know. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure now. You know, Lero used to be such a very nice girl. But recently, there has been so many changes. Her character is changing, and I really think I'll be making a mistake if I go ahead and marry her. That's my son. You are no more a baby. You have to be very careful, extremely careful. Don't worry, Mama. I'll be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know my son. Mm. Mm. Oh, your formula never changes. <laughs> I get to you the more you make me see how much I need you in my life you are my body God but I want you to be in my heart for the rest of my Feel 